In this chapter, we'll demonstrate how to quickly move and arrange elements on the screen. You can define a smaller and larger nudge factor by which you'll move the elements. Activate the first preset view in the 06-03 folder. We will show you how to use the nudge function on the floor plan. Select the dining table and chairs in the dining room. The suspend groups function has to be switched off. In this case you need to select one object only and all others will be selected automatically in one group. Let's move these objects now to the left and down. To do this, hold down the shift key and use the arrow keys for direction. If you would like to move them in larger steps, hold down the shift and alt key simultaneously while using the arrow keys again for direction. Let's try it. Go left, down, right, and then back up to the original position. Finally, Move the dining table and chairs to the middle of the room. Activate the next preset view. In this step, we will show you an example of how you can use this function in an elevation window. Select the north elevation text, hold down the shift key, and press the down arrow key two or three times. Select the labels, and repeat the same action. Move them down a bit and to the right. Activate the next preset view. Here we will show you the advantages of this function on a layout. Select the layout book in Navigator and open Nudge on Layout. Double-click on the middle mouse button on the screen to see the full layout. Select the two drawings on the left side. Hold down the Shift key and press the right arrow key three times. Select the two drawings on the right side and move them to the left like before on the left side. Finally, select the elevation drawing hold down the shift and alt keys together and press the right arrow key twice. Go back to the view map in Navigator and activate the next preset view. We will show you how the nudge works in 3D. Select the dining table and chairs as one group. First, move them down with small steps. Then move them with larger steps to the left and finally to the middle of the room using small steps again. Activate the last preset view in this chapter. We'll explain where you can find the settings of the nudge function and how you can set the nudge factors. Select the round table on the floor plan. Hold down the shift key and using the right and left arrow keys, move it right and then back to the original position. Then hold down the shift and alt keys together, go right, up, left and down. We started with the small nudge factor and subsequently used a larger one. Let's see how we can set these factors if we need another space for the larger or smaller nudge factor. Go to View Menu, Grid Options, Grids and Background. This command activates the Grids and Background Settings dialog. The Construction Grid slash Nudge sets the larger factor of the nudge. When you set the grids on the screen, the large nudge factor will be set in parallel as well. The Snap Grid slash Nudge sets the smaller nudge factor. Let's see what happens when we set the spacing. Enter 1 for both spacing cells in the main grid and enter 0 0.01 for the snap grids. Press OK to leave the dialog. Select the object again 
and move it by using the shift key and the left arrow key with the small factor. As you can see, the distances between grids are now half of what they were previously. The movement was quite smooth, meaning the space has been reduced five times. Now use the large factor, hold down the shift plus the alt key, and move the table. The movement doesn't follow the grids, but the large nudge factor is equal with the grid space. This completes Chapter 3. The nudge function will be a magnificent help when you need to quickly move and fine-tune the elements on your screen.